consider this example the language is given to us as a raised to the power p such that p is a prime number so if we check out this language this will contain string somewhat like this a square a cube a raised to the power 5 a raised to the power 7 because we have to get the power as a prime number 2 3 5 7 11 and so on are our prime number so these kind of strings it will contain so if we have to check using pumping lemma that if this language is not regular the first point is we will assume that l is a regular language then if it is a regular language it will have a pumping length p we have assumed the pumping length to be 3 this time then third point is all the strings in this language l that will have length greater than or equal to this pumping length can be pumped so as per the point number 3 all the strings greater than length 3 can be pumped so that means a cube a5 a7 can be pumped so let us consider one string w equals a cube let us check if it can be pumped or not our point number 3 says that it can be pumped so now let's check it a a a if i divide the string like this first a is x second a is y and third a is z and this is x y 1 z y raised to the power 1 if i is equals to 1 if i is equals to 2 i check x y square z on pumping that means i have pumped y one time so x will be as it is y is y square now so that means 1 y contains 1 a so y square will be containing 2 a's 2 a's and z contains 1 a this is a raised to the power 4 so if x y square z is a raised to the power 4 point number 5 was this that we have to pump that string now sixth point is that we have to check if these three conditions are true or not at the same time so x y i z should belong to l so we have seen that x y i z is on i is equals to 2 x y square z is a raised to the power 4 now this a raised to the power 4 does not belong to our language l because 4 is not a prime number we have to get the power as a prime number but 4 is not a prime number that means the first condition is false on pumping second condition x y should have length less than or equal to pumping length x y is the length of x y is 1 and 1 2 that means 2 is less than equal to 3 second condition is ok third is y should have length greater than 0 y is having length 1 1 is greater than 0 so this is also ok so as per our sixth point these three conditions are not true at the same time that means if these conditions are not true that means we cannot pump this string now if we cannot pump this string our third point is contradicted third point said that all the strings that have length greater than or equal to 3 can be pumped but the string that have length equal to 3 we are not able to pump that because on pumping if we pump it we do not get a string that is in this language that means on pumping we cannot apply that string to this language so this cannot be pumped if this cannot be pumped that means the phenomenon of pumping length fails second point is also failed there is no pumping length and first point is also failed because if there is no pumping length the language is not regular our assumption was that l is a regular language so by sixth point as these three conditions are not simultaneously true so l is not regular this was the solution for this a raised to the power p p is not p is prime we have to prove this language to be not regular this is the way to solve it one way is more for solving the question of a raised to the power p p is prime that you have seen in many books i will discuss that way also in my next video please watch that also so i hope it is clear to you so see this example a raised to the power p such that p is prime I am discussing this example once more with you with some another method. Uh, one method I have discussed in my last video, I hope that is clear to you. But now I am discussing the method that you have seen in many of the textbooks and you might find that solution to be a bit difficult. So I am explaining that solution that how they have solved in your textbooks. Listen it carefully. So the language is a raised to the power p such that p is prime. If the power of a is prime, that means 
always the length of the strings that we will get from this language will also be prime because prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. So a raised to the power 2, 2 is prime. So a raised to the power 2 will contain 2 a's. The length of the string is prime. a raised to the power 3 will contain 3 a's. The length of the string is prime. a raised to the power 5 will contain 5 a's. The length of the string is prime. And similarly, all the prime powers will give us prime length of the string. So let us start with our basic step. Let L is a regular language. Then if it is a regular language, it will have a pumping length. Let us say the pumping length we consider this as n this time. Why we have considered it as n this time? Because p is already given in the question so that we don't confuse with this p. We have not taken p here, we have taken n here. So all the strings in this language L that have the length greater than or equal to this pumping length n can be pumped. This we all know. When we took p here, we wrote p here. Now we have taken the pumping length to be n. So we are writing greater than equal to n can be pumped. So now if this point, point number 3 is true, then we consider one string w such that w is equals to a raised to the power s such that s is a prime number. Why? Because we have to follow the rules of the language. The length of the string should be prime so we have taken a raised to the power s and also s is greater than n why s should be greater than n because all the strings that have the length greater than or equal to n can be pumped so following the rules of the third point i have taken the length of a string which has the length greater than the pumping length that means s is greater than n so the length of the string will be greater than the pumping length so this is the rule for which I have considered a raised to the power s such that s is greater than n. Now the fifth point is we have to pump the string. So now let's pump the string. In pumping the string we know that the first step is we have to divide the string into three parts x, y and z. So our string is a raised to the power s. First of all consider this if a raised to the power s is the string the length of a raised to the power s is s number of a's. This you have to note down. So if I divide a raised to the power s as x, y, z, then we can divide it as like this. Put 1a in x, m number of a's in y and 1a in z such that this is x, this is y and this is z. That means s is equals a raised to the power s is equals to a, a raised to the power m, a. That means you can say that s is equals to m plus 2. Why? Because m number of a is in between and 1a here, 1a here. m plus 1 plus 1 that gives us m plus 2. This m plus 2 is equal to this s. So this is the x, y, z. Now let's pump it. We have divided it successfully. So for pumping, I will write x, y raised to the power i, z. Now I have to give one value to i so that I can pump it to that value. In our example still now I took 2. I squared the value of i. I pumped it one time. Increase the value of y by 1. Then write y square. But here I am talking in the terms of n, s. That means I am talking in the terms of variable values. So here also I will talk in the term of variable value only instead of integral value. So let's consider i is equals to s plus 1 this time. So if i is equals to s plus 1 that means I am pumping it by s plus 1 value. That means like this x, y, s plus 1, z. Now mathematically you can write it like x, y, s, y, 1, z. Because when bases are same power gets added. So if you so try to solve this you will get y, s plus 1 this thing only. So you can also write it like this x y1 z here and y raised to the power here. So now you can also write this y raised to the power 1 as y only. So this becomes x y z y raised to the power s. So this is the string after pumping it. So if this is the string after pumping it if the length of a raised to the power s was s 
then the length of this string and this string can be calculated separately the length of xyz xyz means this string xyz we are calculating the length of xyz if we are calculating the length of x y i z then we have broken it into two strings one x y z and one y s and we are calculating the length of both the strings separately so the length of x y z means the length of this string this string is a raised to the power s and a raised to the power s has the length of s only that means the length of this part is s plus the length of this part y raised to the power s i hope it is clear to you we have calculated the string and after calculation of string now we are calculating the length of that string so length of this string can be calculated in two parts first we will calculate this part then we will calculate this part and finally add them so length of x y z is s length of y raised to the power s is we have written it like this only till now now consider this uh, if you see we can replace this as s plus y raised to the power i minus 1 why because i have considered i as s plus 1 that means s is equals to i minus 1 now see here when a raised to the power m was there we took it as 1 y that means y raised to the power 1 was a raised to the power m but now y raised to the power i minus 1 is there then we have to calculate its length when y raised to the power 1 was there it was having the length of m because there were m number of a's in it when y raised to the power i minus 1 is there what will be the length it will be when it was y raised to the power 1 it was 1 into m so if it is y raised to the power i minus 1 it will be i minus 1 into m you can solve it like this that means the length of this string is s plus i minus 1 into m now this i minus 1 can again be replaced with s you can write it like this s is equals to s plus s m because i minus 1 is equals to s and you can take out s common from here s 1 plus m so this is the length of the string after pumping it the length of suppose a square is having length 2 so as the length here is 2 the length here is s into 1 plus m so what will be the string if length is 2 the string is a square so if length is this the string is a raised to the power s 1 plus m because when length is 2 there are 2 a's if length is 3 there are 3 a's if length is s into 1 plus m there will be s into 1 plus m number of a's so this will be our string that means we have got this string after pumping procedure now what we have to do as per point number 6 we have to calculate if these three conditions are true at the same time let's check it x y i z should belong to l what is our x y i z the string after pumping that we have got this is our x y i z that is a raised to the power s 1 plus m is our x y i z so this string does not belong to this language how we can say that this string does not belong to this language because the language says that p should be a prime number uh, property of prime number is that there is no multiple of prime number other than one or the number itself but here we can see that the power is divided into two multiples two factors that means if the power is in the multiples or factor form that means obviously this is not a prime number because prime number cannot have any factors or multiples so this string is having number of a's which are not prime in number that means if this string is not having the prime length then we can say that this does not belong to this language that means condition number one x y i z does not belong to l it is failing in our case but the other two conditions the length of x y should be less than equal to n x we have taken as 1 a and y we have taken as m number of a's so the length of x y is 1 plus this m so it is m plus 1 
you will find that m plus 1 is less than n condition number 2 satisfy because s is equals to m plus 2 if you will calculate m plus 1 will be less than n so condition number 3 y should be greater than 0 y we have taken as m number of a's m is always greater than 0 this we know so condition 2 and 3 are okay but condition 1 fails in our this example so as per sixth point if all the three conditions are not satisfied at any point in our situation or in our example that we are considering then we say that our assumptions are wrong we are contradicting our own assumption now this point is very important that why are we contradicting our own assumption because if the string after pumping does not belong to our language L then we cannot say that all the strings in L that have the length greater than equal to n can be pumped because we took a string that has the length greater than the pumping length we saw that it cannot be pumped as on pumping we saw that it does not belong to this language so the string cannot be pumped this assumption is wrong if all the strings that have the length greater than pumping length cannot be pumped that means there is no concept of pumping length in this example if there is no concept of pumping length that means it does not have a it, it does not it is not a regular language so if l is not a regular language that means we are contradicting our first statement that l is a regular language so we say that l is not regular using pumping lemma pumping lemma is a negativity test that checks for the language to be not regular so by pumping lemma we say that l is not a regular language i hope this procedure is also clear to you and now you will easily understand the solution that is given in your books i have explained that solution fully and in much depth so i hope this is now clear and if you still have any doubts you can ping me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video.